Welcome fellow collectors, my name's Jared. This is my first upload in a couple of years, with many more on the way. Okay, we're going to get started. Now today, I'm just going to be doing a quick uh, video haul for the month of May 2018, um, and just give my quick thoughts and opinions on the items in question. A couple of fi uh, mainly figures, but we've also got a few other Dragon Ball items, and some video games, and one movie as well. Okay. <clears throat> okay guys, let's get this started. First one we've got today is Colifa from uh, Dragon Ball Super from the World Collectible Figure, the WCF line. Um, and that's the, she's from the Saiyan, Saiyan Bravery Volume 2 line of that. Um, now they also did some other figures from that, I wasn't super keen on them, I have a lot from the previous series, and I just wanted her mainly to go with Kale and my uh, Super Saiyan Kaba. So that's the first one in our haul. Okay, second. Okay, this one's my favourite, guys. This is the uh, Super Master Star piece, di um, Super Master Star diorama piece, uh, Father Son Gallic Gun, Super Saiyan Blue, Vegeta and trunks and that's the uh, brush 2 version which is the purple there's also three other versions of this definitely check it out fantastic fantastic like um, absolutely loving this guys this is probably one of my favorite figures from Bam Pestro that they've done um, actually of all like this this is great I'm absolutely absolutely loving it it's a fantastic figure <clears throat> statue, not a figure, <laughs> but um, yeah, well, well worth it. Um, definitely thinking about getting um, at least maybe a couple, at least one more, um, the green version. But that's great. Definitely check it out, guys. Okay, uh, second, second was another one of my new favorites. Oh, just lost the stand there. Um, is Bardock, the Grand Easter Bardock. Absolutely great figure, um, fantastic sculpt, paintwork is fantastic, and the price point for these is really on point. Like, I think I paid about sixty dollars for this from Japan, which was a little bit more expensive. Like, you can pick them up for about uh, here in Australia for about thirty-eight dollars Australian shipped. That's probably going to change shortly with our new import tax there implementing very soon. Okay, now uh, second. Now I'll do this as two, because it is kind of just the one figure with a different head. Now we've got the Boys Day by Bampestro Samurai Goku. Now um, they both come with different helmets. Uh, this one comes with like a Shenron on his helmet. This one comes with the Dragon Ball, the smiling Goku. And they're, they're really awesome. Um, obviously same bodies, just different heads, but um, it's really great. Really great design, like you just pop the head off, pop the f front of the face off, the hair, the f then the front of the face off, then the back, and then you've just got like a secondary piece that you then pop on the back of that, and then you're good to go. And that's, that's, um, that, they're a really good figure, guys. Um, I had to get two of them because. I bought the first one and I just couldn't decide how I wanted to display it. It looked so good without the helmet, but it looked good with the helmet as well. And then when I got the second one, the smiling one, the the Dragon Ball and the helmet just looked so good. It was it was just yeah, I'm like, okay, that one can keep the helmet on. <laughs> okay, um second one guys, I'll just do these real quick because they're just quick Dragon Ball items. It's a Dragon Ball lunchbox that my lovely girlfriend picked up for me from Zing and then just a random one I got just because I thought it looked cool is the uh, was a placemat from the card game also pretty cool okay now last off guys um, just a couple of uh, disc pickups Okay, uh, I picked up Digimon World for the PS4, Digimon World Next Order, 
Um, I haven't played it much. I've given it a bit of a go. Um, don't like it as much as the original. Like, the original is the reason I bought that one. Um, I've been playing the original for a long time. It's, um, it's a very punishingly difficult game, the original. Um, this one seems a little bit easier, but it doesn't seem to have the, uh, the f <sighs> it was like a nostalgic feel that the, uh, first one has, even going back and playing it now, um, from 2001, um, that was, that, the first one's a great game, I highly recommend the first one, um, I don't know if I can recommend the, the, next order yet, I gotta give it a, give it a decent play. Maybe after I finish it I might do a review. And uh, second off was uh, Digimon Cyber Sleuth, Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth Hacker's Memory. And um, this is um, the follow-up to Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth, uh, the first one. This kind of feels very much the same, just with a few added features, a few streamlined systems. Um, a few new Digimon. It's really great. Um, the story's a bit convoluted and a bit all over the place, but it's a s the gameplay and battle mechanics are very solid, and it's worth sticking through the funny story just for that. And if you like um, wacky Japanese stories, then you'll probably dig the storyline and that. And then last, guys, is uh, Black Panther on Blu-ray. Uh, I didn't get a chance to watch this in the cinema. Uh, I, I love watching all the MCU movies. This one I missed out on unfortunately, so I finally got to watch this yesterday. And it was great. Really enjoyed it. Um, and filled in some gaps that I was kind of a bit, might have been, felt a bit lost on during Civil War. Uh, <laughs> Civil War Infinity War. Thank you for joining me with that guys. My name is Jared, and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks. Bye.